GDW, you did almost kill us. So, it's not like anybody died. He's the terror that flaps in the night. He's the shadowy crusader who emerged in the 1990s and then resurfaced in 2018. He's Darkwing Duck, the lone protector of St. Canard, the city that houses thousands of dastardly criminals. With no discernible combat training, this duck-billed vigilante is able to dispense his brand of justice with ease. He employs the usage of multiple high-tech gadgets to tackle his colorful rogues gallery. With what appears to be near implausible level of luck on his side, but despite his qualifications, his stellar record speaks for itself. Darkwing Duck goes by few other epithets such as Masked Mallard, the Caped Crusader, and DW, but nobody's ever come close to uncovering his true identity, until now. Our crack team of amateur detectives went over thousands of witness accounts and security footages before reaching a startling conclusion. Darkwing Duck is Bruce Wayne. That's right. The infamous playboy trillionaire behind Wayne Enterprises is the only one who could possibly moonlight as Darkwing Duck. He's got the money and resources to fund his activities. Plus, his parents were tragically murdered by a mugger, which undoubtedly sent him off on a quest of vengeance against the criminal element. But perhaps the most damning evidence is the fact that these two were never seen together. In fact, they don't even exist in the same reality, which makes this the most perfect alibi for Bruce Wayne. He could stand behind the podium and tell the world that he couldn't possibly be the mass mallard because he is an anthropomorphic duck dressed like the shadow who fights crime in a city filled with other anthropomorphic animals. This might sound reasonable to some, but if anybody could fund technologies that allow you to hop between universes and disguise yourself to look like a duck, it's Bruce Wayne. In fact, the man has been known to provide funding for the Justice League and there's plenty of paper trail to confirm this. And they're constantly hopping from one reality to the next and shooting nuclear death beams into distant stars. Clearly, trillions of dollars can easily conjure up any number of science fiction level technologies. You know what? I'll even go as far as to say Bruce Wayne is also probably Spider-Man and the brainy ninja turtle with the purple mask. He's also maybe Gizmo Duck, the red line from Voltron, Piccolo, Hannah Montana, Braveheart, Littlefoot, SpongeBob, this dude from Twin Peaks, Optimus Prime, Chris Hansen, the Swag Cat, Swedish Chef, and Harry Potter. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, that can't be true. Bruce Wayne is only one man. Yes, he is. But while he may be just one man, his net worth is 100 times our national debt. He could have easily come up with dozens of ways to clone himself so he could tackle millions of crimes across multiple realities infested with billions of master criminals. In fact, it's insulting to think that he couldn't. There's no problem you couldn't solve by throwing heaps of money on it. I'm a greased up cheese wheel and this has been another episode of Exclusive Expose. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more factual Exclusive Exposes. Have a wonderful Exclusive day.